My name is Neil Petori and this is EC5510 Random Processes. The topic of this video is covariance matrices of random vectors. We talked about random vectors um, being a list of several elements, several random variables. So I might have x1 and x2 all the way up to xn and I put them in a column vector and call that x with a line underneath it to indicate that it's a vector. Well the same thing is going to happen for covariance. We talked about covariance between x1 and x2, but we can take any pair of random variables and look at the covariance between them. So for example, I could take the covariance between x3 and x10. Now I'm going to have a lot of that information around, so I'm going to want to organize it in some form. And we're going to put it in a matrix, and we're going to call it Cx. So let's write the definition of what we mean by a covariance matrix. So a covariance matrix, I'm going to abbreviate covariance, is an n by n matrix with um, the ij element defined as uh, element Uh, the covariance between xi and xj. So if I give you the row and column that uh, I want to know about what's in that covariance matrix, you can find the covariance of the x corresponding to the row and the x corresponding to the column and put that in the matrix. Okay, so let's do an example. So let's say n equals 3. So I've got x is equal to x1, x2, and x3. And so what I'm going to do for the covariance matrix is as follows. So I've got to have a 3 by 3 covariance matrix. The 1, 1 element is going to be the covariance of x1 and x1. Well, what is the covariance of x1 and x1? If I plug in the x1 and x1 into that covariance equation, let's write the covariance equation again, of xi xj, it's equal to the expected value of um, xi minus its mean times xj minus its mean. So when I plug in x1 and the mean of x1, and x1 and the mean of x1, I get x1 minus its mean quantity squared, which is the variance. So rather than writing the variance here, or sorry, rather than writing the covariance here, I'm going to write the variance of x1. In the next uh, column, so row 1, column 2, I'm going to write the covariance of x1, x2. And in row 2, column 1, covariance of x2, comma x1. Now note that these are the same thing. That if I switch around i and j here, it doesn't matter. It's multiplication. It, I can move it around. So it doesn't matter if I write x1, comma x2 here. In the 2, 2 element, again, I've got the, ver I've got the covariance of x2 and x2 which is the variance of x2. And in fact, everywhere along the diagonal, I'm going to have a variance. And everywhere on the off diagonal, I'm going to have a covariance. So this is going to be x2, comma, x3, and the covariance of x1, comma, x3, and so on. Again, it doesn't matter whether I write this covariance of x3 comma x2 or the covariance of x3 comma x1 or x2. Okay, so as another example, I could have let n equal 2. And if I had set n equal to 2, then all I would be doing is I would be finding a 2 by 2 matrix. And in this case, it would just be this 2 by 2 sub matrix here with the variance of x1 and the variance of x2 and the covariance between the two of them. And as a final example, I could have done just n equals 1. We've already talked about this, um, but what would I have when I 
compute the covariance matrix of n equals 1? Well, I just have the variance of x1, and that's something we're familiar with. So the covariance matrix includes both variance and covariance. Okay, so the last thing is that in, we can talk about what um, the covariance is in vector notation. And if you're familiar with linear algebra, then this will make more sense. But if not, we will have some practice with this. Okay, so the expected value of x bar minus its mean, that mean is a vector itself, remember, and x minus its mean again except the second time I'm going to take the transpose of that, uh, exp that uh, expression here. So when I take something and multiply it by uh, the vector again, with the vector again transpose, it's called an outer product, and it gives me an n by n vector, because this is n by 1, this one is 1 by n. Okay, that's all of the topic for today. And next we're going to talk about Gaussian random variables and Gaussian random vectors.